Hey everyone, this is Video Game Fan 1999 here, and today I'm going to be doing another gameplay on Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. In my last gameplay of this, I played on the Leaf Cup, so now we're going to do the next cup in this game and we'll see how that turns out. But before we get started, I do have a special guest joining with me, and that is Nick the Enlightened. To uh, be a part of this uh, set, set with Daniel here. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so, anyways, let's jump right into single player. Alright, we're gonna grab pre 50cc. And since I have Nick with me as a special guest, I'm gonna have him pick the character that I play as. Alright, we'll go with Peach for this one. Alright, and Nick and I were also talking about the vehicle combination that we're going to use before we uh, went on the air. So, as for what we're going to use, we're going to use the Wild Wiggler, followed by the Blue Standard Tires, and the uh, Parachute. And... The cup that we're going to be doing this time is the lightning cup. So let's do this. Do it. And this is basically the uh, last of the cups I'm going to be doing. Um, or throughout the ones that were first included in the game. And then the rest of the cups I'm going to do after that are all going to be the DLC cups. But anyways, let's go into our first race, which is that TikTok clock, which is from Mario Kart DS. Yep. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I do say this was a pretty good track back in uh, Mario Kart DS. Oh, there's ink on my screen! But a lot of times, it's, it's not a big problem, because uh, I can still see just fine. Alright, anyways, let's see how lap 2 goes. Ah, oh, darn it! We just got shocked by lightning. Uh, we do get some coins right there. Alright, a green shell this time. That's pretty good. There's actually a shortcut right here that you can take right there. Alright, follow up. Alright, uh, there's some more coins.
And that's a win first place to start off. Alright, so uh, we're going to start off with 15 points, now let's go ahead and move on to race 2. Yep, let's keep this momentum going. Alright, so for the next race we're going to Piranha Plant Slide, which is a track for Mario Kart 7. Uh, what is the problem with this track for yourself? Well, it's fine. Uh, I do say this track is uh, not too bad overall uh, myself, but uh, uh, it's just uh, not very much. Uh, 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 of a good track for me as well, but this one is okay. Yeah, it's all that is important. Alright, time for lap two. Oh, I just barely avoid that parole plant. Yeah, that was way too close. Oh no! Not the blue shell! Yeah, I don't think anyone likes the blue shells at all. Alright, last lap. They're only not so bad um, when you do have a super horn with you if a blue shell does come by, because the super horn it's an easy way to dodge the blue shell. A lot of times with the super horn, I just try to save it in case if the blue shell does come by. Even before uh, this game came out, um, uh, there were uh, there was actually another way to dodge the blue shell. Like from what I do remember seeing in Mario Kart Wii, where uh, at the moment when the blue shell does come down, uh, people would use a mushroom and they could still dodge it that way. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we just got ourselves another win in first place as we're gonna get another 15 points. Alright, let's go to race 3 now and see how that goes. Alright, next up we're going to Grumble Volcano, which is a track for Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, I was really glad that they uh, bought this track back into this game. Uh, uh, this track right here was definitely one of my uh, personal favorites in Mario Kart Wii as well. This track does have uh, very nice music from what I do remember.
Uh, yeah, I do remember uh, seeing the ultra shortcut on this track that uh, someone was able to pull off that uh, one time. It's pretty incredible of how quickly you can get through this track with that ultra shortcut. Lap two. I've just got some points right there. I just got hit by a red shell. Alright, time for the fall lap. Ah, oh, come on! Are you serious with the lightning? Yeah, getting shocked by lightning is no fun. I just got burned. But we're still gonna pull off and our win first place. Nice. Three wins in a row. You have to see it. Yeah, there are 15 points coming my way. And now it is time for our final race. And our last race is going to be at Rainbow Road from uh, Mario Kart 64. Yeah, when they remade this particular Rainbow Road on this game, yeah, I do say they did a really good job with that. Now, the thing that is different on this new version of the track is that, that there are actually uh, sections on this one compared to the usual three laps, because uh, from what I do remember, on this particular Rainbow Road, one entire lap is really, really long. So they actually uh, just split this track into sections for uh, one whole lap. Yeah. What I do know as well is that um, in Mario Kart 7, uh, they did have the Rainbow Road from Super Mario Kart in the Lightning Cup on that game. I missed the item, that was ridiculous. Alright, we'll stop here for this part and I'll see you guys in the next part.